We're going to make a, a sort of Sicilian-inspired cauliflower dish that is, uses anchovies as the base. This is something you could serve to someone who thinks they don't like anchovies. I'm going to get the anchovies and garlic started, and then we will get our raisins prepared, because it, this uses golden raisins, or sultanas, as they're sometimes called. They add a little sweetness at the end of the dish, and we'll soak them in a little balsamic vinegar and warm water to add a little extra tang. And I, I tend to slice garlic a lot. I, I think it, it can hold up to a little more heat than a totally chopped or minced garlic, and it looks pretty too. We'll start with olive oil, and um, we'll add some chili. And I think I will break it up. I think a little heat is really nice in this. So these are, I'm using, ah, we'll go with three chilies. And then here's two cloves of garlic. It's pretty high heat. Uh, yes, it shouldn't be that high. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and then um, now we're going to add some anchovies. So I have four anchovy fillets. And You're just I'm, throwing them in. I'm just throwing them in at that sort of aromatic infusion of the oil stage. And you'll stir them around and basically they'll especially the ones that came, were packed in oil, will really melt into the sauce eventually. The bigger ones may, may stay a little chunkier, but they'll, they'll sort of just disappear. There's a nice sizzle, and you can smell them already. Adding that extra element. I mean, garlic always smells delicious mm -hmm. in the pan, but that adds that extra element. Now I'm going to turn this really low because... I forgot to chop my cauliflower first. I'll do that quickly. It's just one head of cauliflower. Mm -hmm. One beautiful head of cauliflower. One beautiful head of cauliflower. And then you just want a nice big, a big, wide, somewhat deep pan to cook it in. And I do kind of a rough and ready chop on the cauliflower. I uh, kind of cut it off the core. And then I slice it. And I like to have different piece, size pieces in this case. Sometimes I want very regular pieces. Here I like some chunks. I like some crumbles, just because I think they all contribute something different to the, to the dish we're cooking. And let me take a stir over here. This is You're throwing this stuff right in the pan with yeah. the anchovy, the garlic, and the red peppers. Mm -hmm. So it's you know that beautiful classic cauliflower color right now, you know, snowy ivory and it will change for sure. And now, through the magic of radio, it's 20 minutes later, and that cauliflower has indeed changed. Okay, so the once pristine looking cauliflower, Sarah, is looking tan. I actually would let it go a little bit longer because I'm looking for a little bit of an amber, like a honey amber color on at least parts of the cauliflower. But again, you see how it's interesting to see the different shapes. You get those pretty fans mm -hmm. that now are kind of like almost like the meaty part of this saute. And then you've got the, the little bits that are almost melting into a part a, a sauce. They're not, they're not, they haven't totally collapsed, but they, they sort of give you a different texture. Are we letting the whole thing caramelize? Is that what's happening to mm -hmm. it? And you're ke I'm keeping an eye on it. And then uh, I sort of let it sit for at least three or four minutes, and then I just check it out on the bottom because you'll see that um, you're getting a, almost a foam, like what we would say in French, the, the, the uh, caramelized bits of food are sticking to the bottom of the pan, and you want to scrape them up. So I, I like to use a, a, a solid wooden flat-ended spatula for that. Uh, you could use anything that works, but you, know, you want to apply a little pressure and you scrape up the brown bits because you don't want them to blacken. You want it to stay brown, not black. That's the key to good caramelization. But like, look at that beautiful bit of caramelization on that cauliflower. I'm going to add a little touch of whole fennel seeds to the, to the mixture. They add a little texture, uh, a little crunch, and then that wonderful slightly anise flavor to the whole dish. Okay, yum. And I just sprinkle it. Okay. Mmm. Yum. Wow. What am I tasting? The hot? The hot doesn't come till the end. Mm hmm. Maybe it's the vinegar. Is that the vinegar? Yeah. Well, there's vinegar, there's fennel, mm -hmm. there's 
Mm. There's a lot going on in this little dish. Mm-hmm. Wow. And don't forget anchovies. Oh, I did forget them. Mm-hmm. 